Good evening, Janet. How are you today? Good evening, Mr. Gutek. Turn on your microphone, please. Good evening. I was listening to the video of the platform. What the last night's class or or the video from the platform? From the platform. Ah, okay. For today. Uh, no, no, no. Um, it's the three point twelve. Ah, so you are in section three. Yes. Ah, and uh, have you worked on the platform? Yes, I'm working in this. Okay, so you gonna do the midterm tonight or tomorrow? No, tonight. Tonight, okay. Yes. So, tomorrow I will finish the platform. Okay, and uh, and and also section four because tonight we yeah. are going to finish section four. Okay, it is uh, oh, okay. yeah, it's very easy, very easy, not that difficult. Yes, right? the the section number three in the carnival was the difficult only, but. But uh, remember, Pass. you you already passed it. Yeah, but was trying to make it without your answer. Ah, okay. But then you have the answer just in case. Yeah. It's easy. It's easy. The only thing is you have to be careful to put uh, that to start the sentence with a capital letter yeah. and to end the sentence with a period. Yeah. Okay. It was the the different, but but the answer was. Mm, there to the good answer. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see uh, uh, what happens to the others. Yeah. They are always late. I I was looking that in this course in the last, we are the few students. Well, no, in the last we were uh, like 10, eight, eight or 10. And in, in, in this course too. Oh uh, yeah, the, we were more. There were more last course. Yeah. Yeah, but a few, a few of them uh, are not on the in the intermediate too. In another. Yeah. yeah for example, uh, you remember Carla, and you remember Juan. Yes, they are with. Um... They are with uh, somebody else. But they yes. are not in this course. Yes, but not remember the name. With because I was talking with Juan. Juan. Yes. With Rafael. Ah, with Rafael Linares. Yes. Ah, okay. I didn't know he was also giving this class. Okay. With with Enrique. With ah, Enrique, with Enrique, yes. okay. There are the same course, so. So a lot of them went over there. Yeah. Well, uh, it finished the next week, right? Yeah, Thursday, next week. So I'm planning that, uh, okay, tomorrow we will start section five. Probably we finish on Tuesday and Thursday, we do the final, and then, I mean, uh, Wednesday, we do the final, and Thursday, a little review. Okay. okay. So, and wish each other Merry Christmas, right? <laughs> and there to <laughs> the Christmas. Exactly, because it's going to be the last day. Okay, and, and then we'll we start the, the new in the new year. Yeah, the new course will be until... Uh, Probably the 17 or the 18. Okay. Maybe we'll be with you again. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, let's see what develops. Good Please. evening, Kenya. How are you tonight? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Okay. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. A little tired. Uh -huh. okay. okay. But I'm happy that tomorrow is Thursday. We it's like uh, okay. it's like little Friday. I um, I understand. I understand to understand to you, teacher. Me too. Yeah, but uh. <laughs> I am tired. I yeah, because tired. after after I finish with you, I have to upload the video, and that takes, you know, like 
45 minutes. So I go to sleep around 11, okay? And I have a class at eight o'clock in the morning. So it's kind of tiring. Good evening, Lester. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm fine, and you? Okay, very good. Good evening, Luis. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I'm very fine, teacher. Now I'm very fine, but uh, yesterday I feel uh, a little sick. No problem. Don't worry about it. The good thing is that you are here now. Okay. Good evening, Salvador. How are you tonight? Good evening, sir. Uh, now trying to continue the game, you know? Yes. <laughs> okay, excellent. So now we're going to start with you. Okay, I have here, uh, but I have to erase all these uh, answers. Okay. So let me, okay. Uh, okay, do, I, I send a document. Uh, before the class around 7 30 i don't know if you if you open it uh, yes i saw it but i i have no check already everything you know okay but try to open it and have it in hand because we're gonna work with it tonight okay 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 so very good very good Okay, so this is the last one. Okay, so. Uh, this is the first conditional documents, man. Yeah, the first conditional document, okay? And uh, if you remember, we say that the if clause has to be in the present. The if clause has to be in the present and the result clause has to be in the future. In the okay. future, yes, yes. Most most of the uh, of the result clauses will be with will, but we say that you can use be going to, and you can you also use a may or might as well. Might remember? Might yes, yes. May, might, and could as well. Okay, so let's see now. In this one, in the document that I sent you yesterday, you didn't have the verbs, okay? And you don't have the verbs, as a matter of fact, but I put it right here. So let's work with the screen. What will be number one, Janet? Turn on your microphone, Janet. Sorry. If you repay my bike, I will help you with the math homework. Okay, I will help you with my math homework. Okay, very good, that's it. Okay, let's see, Salvador, number two. Okay. Uh, it is too hot. It is too hot. No, because that one doesn't have the if. The if clause is right here. That is the one that is in the present, Salvador. Oh, yeah, so you're this right. one yes. is yes. Here's the result. Is it, the result correct? It so will be, it will be too hot. It will be too hot if he if he travels to Greece in August. Okay, if he travels to Greece in August. Very good. Now the next one, Lester. If Peter. Uh, If Peter sit on the sofa. Uh -huh. His sister will sit next to him. His sister will sit next to him. Very good. That is totally correct. Very good. Okay, now let me... Wow. Just give me a minute. I'm just trying to find something here. Oh, 
Okay. So very good. Now the next one, let's go to the next one. Okay, hold on that my mouse has frozen for a minute. Okay, I got it. I got it right here. Okay, so the next one, uh, Kenya, the policeman. Uh, the policeman will tell you, uh, will tell you the way, will tell you the way if you ask him. If you ask him, that is correct, very good. Okay, very good. The next one, uh, Luis. Okay. If it's now in the Alps. Okay, Luis, because we are working with third person singular and this is in the present. What happens to snow? ING. No, no ING. Uh, it's snowing. No, it snows. Okay, very good. It snows. Exactly, because we're talking about simple present with he, she, and it. It takes an S. If it snows in the Alps, in the Alps, it's right wheel in Munich. Wait again. It's right in will and it's will right in Munich. Ah, it will rain in Munich. Right in Munich. Okay, that is correct. Very good. Okay. Teacher, the next one, Maria. Teacher, Rose. I'm sorry. I have a yes. teacher. Yes, what is your question? I have a question. Yeah, what in is the question? number four? Uh, why uh -huh. you didn't have if after if you ask him? Ah, because it's you, remember? We only add S mm, after yeah. he, she, and it. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. yeah, but this right. is you. So, yeah. mm -hmm. that's okay. Very good. Now, Thank Marielos, you. number six. I will lend you my laptop if you promise to be careful with it. If you promise? To be careful with it. To be careful with it. Very good. Nuria, number seven. If you add some tomatoes, if you add some tomatoes, the sauce will taste much better. Will taste much better. Very good. Number eight. Uh, Ronald, number eight. Turn on your microphone, Ronald. Tom pulls. Pulls. Now, if pulls. Tom pulls, right? Because it's Tom, it's he. Third person. We have to add the S. If Tom pulls this string, this string, he will open the box. He will open the box. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Now, the next one is. Uh, Number nine, uh, uh, Janet, number nine. I find, find, find uh, some. I find. Find. Well, if, if. If I find. If, if I find. Simon's mobile, mobile. Mobile, if I find yeah. Simon's mobile. I will take. I will it take it to the office. To the office. Okay, very good. And the last one, Lester. What is the last one? Uh, the number 10. Number 10. Okay. 
he f if we s send an invitation our friends will come to our party will come to our party so that is correct very good okay now i need you right now i need you that you take a picture of this okay We're gonna, move, we're gonna move to the workbook, okay? Okay, you remember that we did these questions yesterday, do you remember? Yeah, yes. Okay, very good. Now, bear pairs, bear pairs, which words go with which verbs? Okay, for example, feel, you feel energetic. Now, what else do you feel uh, besides energetic? What other words can you? Relaxed. Ah, uh, you feel relaxed. Very good. So that is okay. Now, with get, what do you get? Wait. Married. No, you get married. Married. Get married. married. And what else? You get dieting. No. A call. Aha, you get a call. Right? You get married and you get a call. Now, what do you lose? Wait. 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 And what else? Wait. Diet. No. And you lose no. touch. touch. Remember, you lose touch with your friends. If you oh. don't see them, you lose touch. Okay. Yeah. Now, what do you quit? The, the, dieting. Dieting. Oh, yes. and dieting. Okay. Now, very good. Now, I want you to go in pairs. You're going to go in pairs. And with this, you are going to write sentences. Okay. For example, what page is? That is page 52. Okay, thank you. Okay, so, for example. Example, okay. If I feel energetic, I might go for a walk. Is that clear? So you yeah. are going to combine the verbs with the words, and then you're going to make conditional sentences. Okay, I want you to do that in pairs. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna break you into groups. Okay, I'm gonna make, ah, let me see how many we are. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna make four groups. Okay, okay. so one, one group is gonna be a trio, okay? Okay. Okay, so Janet, Luis, and Salvador go to room number one. Marielo and Nuria go to room number two. Kenya and, Ro and Ronald Quesada go to room number three. Lester and Vanessa go to room number four, please. Teacher, I couldn't... Uh... I couldn't download the document. It doesn't matter. Because, uh, here, uh, you uh, okay? Take a picture, please. Take, take a picture. Here we go. I'm gonna show it to you. Take a picture. Okay. Okay. So take a picture. Can you see it? Now, please wait a moment, please. Okay, I have it. Thank you. You have it. Okay, very good. So go to your room. Room number one. Kenya, go to room number... Okay, very good. Luis, go to room number one with Janet and Salvador. Luis, can you go to room number one, please? Okay, very good.
excuse me, teacher. Uh, yes, I, Lester. I will take a picture of the of the exercise. Okay, hold on. Just give me a minute. Right now. Hmm? Let me get to. No, it's okay. It's in the it's in the class. I take a picture now. Okay, can you see it? Yes, yes, I can see it. No problem. Okay, no okay. problem. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay, very good.
with a meaning uh, touch. Uh, it's like when you say I lose touch with my friend. Yes. Ah, okay. The country, another job. So, so ah, okay. Were you able to finish? Friend. Yes, it's the last. In the last one. Okay. Very good, very and good. So then I will do. Call days every day. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. Were you able to do all of them, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm missing two. Who's that? Uh-huh, okay, got it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, very good, guys. Now, let me show me what did you do, okay? So, now, can you tell me the first one, please? The first one that you did, okay. Salvador, one sentence. Just tell me one of the sentences that you did. Turn on your uh, microphone, Salvador. With the uh, loose. Yeah, with uh, with any, with any, with any, any. Okay. If I want to lose weight, I will make a little more exercise. Okay, very good, Janet. Read me one of your sentences. If I feel relaxed, I might go to a sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nuria. If I if I get married, I will be happy. You're not married, Nuria. <laughs> no teacher. Ah, <laughs> no, but okay. I'm but no. no, but I'm happy. I'm happy, really happy. <laughs> But if you get married, you will be happier, okay? <laughs> no, a single woman, I'm happy. Uh, okay. A happy woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay. Marielos, what do you have? Tell me one sentence. If I quit, if I quit exercising, I will gain weight. Uh, if I... Quit, quit. Yes. Okay, if I quit exercising, I will gain weight. Very good. Lester, what do you have, Lester? Uh, if I go to another country, I will lose touch with my friends. Hey, very good. Vanessa, what do you have? Turn on your microphone. I, thank you. If I make exercise, I'm going to lose weight. Okay. If I do, no make. If I do exercise. Ah, okay. Okay. Very good. Luis, what do you have, Luis? Okay. Uh, this is similar to uh, the last one. If I feel weight, I might do more exercise. If I feel wait i wait. might to do more more exercise uh-huh but feel no weight okay we cannot combine that okay if uh, i okay. lose weight lose. if i lose weight lose. if i lose weight uh-huh i might do I more might, exercise i might to do more exercise not to do i might do more exercise do yeah okay. just do okay kenya what do you have kenya Okay, if I get a call, I might take uh, medicine. Okay, if I get a call, I might take medicine. Okay, very good. Now, now here, remember, complete the sentences with your own information. Add a comma where necessary. Grammar note, conditional sentence with if clauses. The if clause can come before or after the main clause. Example, 
before the main clause, if I move, if I move to a cheaper apartment, comma, I'll be able to buy a car. Now, after the main clause, I'll be able to buy a car. No comma is necessary if I move to a cheaper apartment. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Now, what happens here? Uh, Janet, okay, number one, I, if I go shopping on Saturday, I might spend too spend much money. Spend too much money. Janet, if I'll feel yes. healthier, I might, uh, I might make my, my, my work better, more, more fast, faster, faster. Uh, I'll feel heartier if, if, if I, if I make my home, my work more faster. No. No, because you will feel healthier. What is the condition? If if I exercise. If I do more exercise, if I do exercise. I feel healthier. That is okay. Very good. Luis Diaz. Uh, if I get more exercise. I feel healthier. I don't know if um, I might, I might be healthy. Yeah, I might be healthier. I might lose weight. I might uh, feel more energetic. Okay, now Nuria, if okay. I don't get good grades in school. If I don't get good grades in school, I won't pass this year. This year or the subject. Very the good. subject, okay. Arielos, I might get more sleep. If I feel energetic. Mm, no. Maybe if you do exercise, you will feel tired and you might get more sleep. Is that clear, Marielos? I might get more sleep if I exercise. Correct? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, very good. Uh, Lester, I'll be happy. I don't know. Okay, if I'll be happy. Uh -huh. Ronald, I'll be happy. Hey, I'll be happy if I win the lottery. <laughs> yes. Nuria, Nuria says, I'll be happy if I get married. <laughs> <laughs> if I be with you, I will be happy. Uh -huh. if I am, if I am with you, remember, if I am with you, I'll be happy yeah. because it's in the present. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now look, we have these nouns. Okay. If I, I be happy if I. Uh huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, look, now let's go to the document. Do you remember these exercises? Okay, let's see. Number one, Nuria. If I study, I will pass the exams. Very good. Marielos, number two. If the sun shine shines because remember shines. the sun is third person singular if the sun shines if the sun shines we will walk into town very good lester if he 
has temperature. 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 He will see the doctor. Very good, very good. Ronald, number four. Friends. Sorry, if my friend. In my friends. In my friend. Came. Come. Come. I. I will be. Very exactly. Happy. I will be. Very happy. Very happy. Okay, very good. Now, let's see. Luis Diaz, number five. Okay. If she earns a lot of money, she will fly to New York. Very good. Uh, Salvador. Yes, sir. If we travel to London, we will visit the museums. Very good. Uh, Janet. Number seven. If you wear sandals in the mountain, you will sleep on the rocks. You will sleep on the rocks. Very good. Next, Nuria. If Prita forgets her homework, the teacher will give her a low mark. A low mark. That is correct. Number nine, Marielos. If they go to the disco, they will listen to loud music. Excellent. Vanessa, number 10. If you wait a minute, I will ask my parents. Very good. Kenya. If you don't hurry, we will be late. We will be late. That is correct. Very good. Next, uh, Janet. If Enrico passes his exam, he will be very happy. Okay, passes. Remember, passes. because it's third person, Enrico, he. If Enrico passes his exam, he his will exam. be very happy. He will be very happy. Okay, very good. Let's see who is next. Salvador, number 13. Yes, sir. However, if Enrico fails, uh, he will, he, he won't be very happy. He won't be. He won't be very happy. Okay, yes, very good. Carlos Marroquín, number 14. If you stay awake all night, you will be very tired tomorrow. Okay, very good. And the last one, volunteer. Ah, we have more, wait. Okay, number 15, uh, Vanessa. Uh, Alan. Not wins the lottery. No. What is the Alan will not. No. Uh -huh. Alan will not win the lottery. Remember, want? Want. 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 Alan want want, won't win the lottery if he doesn't buy a ticket. Okay, very good. Kenya, number 16. If you eat. So much chocolate, you will become fat. Okay, very good. Nuria. Turn on your microphone, Nuria. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If Rick drives no, no. too fast. No, number 17. If, no, we... We won't go to the restaurant if you're not hungry. Okay, Mariano, number 18. Okay. 
if Freak drives too fast, he will have an accident. He will have an accident. Very good. Has, no. has, he will have. Has, no, has, because remember, in the if is where we use present. Here is future. So when we use will, all, all the pronouns are with the Ah, uh, okay, thanks. Yeah, okay, very good. Now, here, we come back to the workbook, okay? Here, nouns and adjectives. Now, the noun is energy. What is the adjective? What is the Teacher. adjective? We didn't see the ah. homework. Sorry, the workbook. The workbook. The workbook. Can you see it now? Okay, Maybe here it. we no, have yes. the yeah. noun is yeah. energy. Okay. What is the adjective? Energy. What is the adjective? Feel. No, no. What is the adjective? The noun is energy. Energetic. 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 That is correct. Energetic. Now, the, the adjective is environmental. What is the noun? Environment. 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 Okay. The noun is health. What is the adjective? Healthy. Healthy. Healthier? Health, no, healthy. healthy. Healthier is the okay. comparative form. Now, the adjective is medical. What is the noun? Medicine. 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 That is correct. Now, the noun is success. What is the adjective? Successful. 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 Okay, very good. Now, let's go here. Complete the sentences. Use the words in part A. There have been lots of medical advances. There have been lots of medical advances in the past half century, but there is still no cure for the common cold. Now, number two. There are a lot of healthy problems in my country. No. There's too much. No, no. There is a lot of, a lot of medical. Su 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 no. A lot of environmental. Uh -huh. there, there are a lot of environmental in problems in my, in my country. country. There is too much air pollution. Air pollution. And the rivers, and the rivers are, are dirty. Just... Okay, number three. My is not my good health. as it used to be. My healthy is my not healthy. Health. No, not my, my healthy because my health. health. My health. My health. My health. You need a my noun health. right here. My health. My health. health. My health. 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 is not a word as it uh -huh. used to be. Exactly. So my I health. decide to eat better food and consuming every day. That is correct. My health is not as good as it's, as it used to be. So I decided to eat better food and go swimming every day. Now the next one. My party at the great successful. No, oh, not successful. What success. a great success. success. Mi fiesta fue un gran éxito. Okay, I think I, I might have another one soon. And number five. I, if I started more, more, I have more health. health. More health. No. I Healthy. might have more energy. Uh -huh. I might have more energy. I might energy. have an, okay, if I start exercising more often, I might have more energy. Okay, very good. Now, uh, we're gonna go to the to the book. Okay, here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Not yet. Can you see the book now? No. Are you in love? 
Can you yeah, see it? Yeah, now, yes. Yes, I... Yes, okay. That is in the yes. textbook on page 63. Okay? So look, are you in love? What is the difference between having a crush on someone and falling in love? Do you understand what is having a crush? No. Okay, that is having an attraction to someone, being attracted to someone. Is that clear? That is having a crush. And falling in love is falling in love. So here, listen. You think you're falling in love? You're really attracted to a certain person? But this has happened before. And it was just a crush, an attraction. How can you tell if it is real this time? Here's what our readers said. If you are falling in love, you'll find yourself talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. You might pretend there is a reason, but often there's not. You'll find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a friend begins, you interrupt with, my boyfriend, made, my girlfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. Right? Because you, you start bringing this person into every conversation. You might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. When a woman asks me to tell her all about football, I know she's falling in love said a TV sports announcer. Why? Because now she is interested in football. Okay. Okay, so you've fallen in love, but falling in love is one thing. And staying in love is another. How can you tell as time passes that you are still in love? If you stay in love, your relationship will change. Your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not call him or her so often. But this person, but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. You'll find that you can be yourself with this person. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself. But now you can be totally honest. You can trust him or her to accept you just as you are. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. Questions about pronunciation or vocabulary. Nevertheless. Nevertheless, sin embargo. Okay. What else? What yes. else? No more questions? No more. Okay, now, where do you think this article is from? A newspaper, a magazine, an advice column, or an advertisement? What mean the advertisement? An advertisement, um, anuncio. So where do you think this article come from? 
a, a, a magazine. A magazine. Maybe a magazine or an advice. An advice column. But it's not an advice column because advice column presents the person with a problem and then they present an answer or an advice for that problem. Do you understand? Yes. So probably yes. a magazine. Now, what things happen when, when you are falling in love compared to staying in love? So what are three things that you can say about falling in love? Number one? You find, you will find yourself taking, talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. That is correct. So when you are falling in love, you find yourself talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. So that is number one. Okay. Is that clear? What is number two? You will find yourself bringing this, find person, yourself to bringing this person to every conversation. You find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. That is correct. That is number two. 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 And number, number two. three? Uh, to my to my being interested, interested in things you to use to avoid. Things you use uh -huh. to Suddenly, avoid. you be interested in things that you use to avoid. So that's how you know that you are falling in love. Now, okay. what? how do you know that you are staying in love? You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You are exactly. You might not talk as much about the person that you are in love with, and you might not call him okay. or her okay. so okay. Or so but... But this person this will nevertheless person, become more than more exactly. important. Exactly. This love. person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Okay, now, number two. How do you know that you are staying in love? You will find that you can be yourself with this person. Uh huh. So you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself, but now you can be totally, be totally honest. honest. Is that clear? Yes. That is number two. How you know that you are staying in love? Now, number three. You can trust him or her to accept your use as you are. Exactly. You can trust him or her to accept you just yes, as you absolutely. are. Is that clear? So yes. that's how you yes, know sir. that you are falling in and that you are no. staying in love. Is that clear, guys? Yes. Yes. Now, which is more difficult? Falling in love or staying in love? Staying in love. Staying in love. Can you think of other signs of being in love? Now, I have a question. Why is it so difficult for women to trust us? When, uh, when a man said, I love you with, with any reason. <laughs> With any reason, yeah. probably he is in love. <laughs> when when he brings you flowers with no reason, with no reason to, so <laughs> so, so you can't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now guys, very good. So with this, we finish section number four. Let me show you. Let me show you here, okay? Section number four. So you can do the time contrast, you remember? Pass with simple pass and used to. You can do the present with simple present and present continuous. And you can talk about the future with will, going to, and might. Do you remember? 
and you can do the knowledge check 4.4. Also, you can go and do the listening exercise for better or for worse yeah. that we did yesterday. Or the day before, no, yesterday. Okay. Yeah. And you remember for better or for worse about the shopping mall. You remember that they were talking, hey, a long time ago, we used to buy candies here. Now it's a shopping mall. Do you remember? No. Okay, so you can do this exercise too. And conditional sentence with if clauses, you can do the knowledge check. You are experts now. I can see that you are very good now. And you can also do the reading. Are you in love? Okay, so you can finish section number four. So please, if you haven't done the plat, if you haven't worked on the platform, please, I need you that you start working on the platform and be and finish unit number four uh, this weekend. Okay, Nuria? Okay, teacher. Okay, so please, okay. Tomorrow's class is going to be about section number five. But if you have any questions, if you work in the platform and you have any questions, we can uh, clear those questions tomorrow night. Okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, so do you have any more questions, guys? No. Okay. No question. Okay, very good. So I'm going to let you go and okay. uh, go. And if you are going to work on the platform, very good. Otherwise, rest and be ready for tomorrow's class. Okay. okay. Tomorrow is the last class of the week. Okay. Yes, I know. So we don't have any more classes on Friday. Okay. So, okay. Okay, very good. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you, mister. Okay, bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. And rest, please, okay? Good night, everyone. Okay. See you tomorrow night, okay? See you, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.